Hello everyone, this is Tyler again with My Computer Works, and today we're gonna be talking about locking that home network down. Now, most of you watching this probably have a home network, right? You pay for internet at home that you go online and do online shopping, email, whatever you do. And no matter who you're paying, who, who, no matter who your internet service provider is, whether it be Cox, Spectrum, Optimum, or one of the other million names on the ever-growing list of internet service providers that just seems to be growing all the time, we all have a responsibility to keep our network safe, right? Because usually those companies are not doing it for us. <gasps> Isn't that surprising? Well, they're not, okay? They're not. It is your job to manage and take care of your network. And you've probably experienced this if you've ever tried to reach out to them for support on network security. That is not their job. They are there to set up your network and get it running. And once it's running, it is up to you to manage it and keep it secure. So don't ever think that anybody is keeping your network safe for you. Now, of course, the router has built-in firewalls, Windows has firewalls and things like that. But today, we're gonna talk about how to manage those a little bit and how to make sure that those are on and also how to do some really cool stuff with your router that you probably didn't know you could do. So let's check this out. Now, I wanna talk about how to access your router's user interface. So it, you have a user interface, an administrative user interface for your router, and you're able to access this through your browser. And I'm gonna show you how to do that. So the first thing you're gonna do on Windows or on Mac, whatever you have, is you're gonna pull open your command prompt or your terminal. If you're on Windows, you're gonna type in ipconfig space slash all like this. And if you're on Mac, you're gonna do ifconfig and you're gonna hit enter and that's going to pull up your info here all of your different ip configuration info right so and you're going to look for the default gateway ip number right here now this is your router's ip and it's usually a generic like 192.168.1.1 or 192.168.0.1 or whatever whatever it may be you're going to take that number you're going to slap that into your browser up into the bar, the search bar, and you're gonna search it. That's actually gonna make a connection with the router and allow you to control it from an administrative level like, a, like you never knew you could, okay? So what can we do here? Well, we can do lots of cool stuff here. The first thing we're gonna do right off the bat is we're gonna change that default password that we just used to log in with because it's usually something like password or admin or something else horrible like that that anybody could guess or look online to find out what model that model's default is. So we're gonna change that first off. We're gonna change your login password, okay? And then we're gonna probably change the Wi-Fi password. That's the next step. So Wi-Fi password is usually a default. Uh, we're gonna get in there, we're gonna bust that open and we're going to work on that. We're gonna change that to something nobody's gonna guess. Perfect. And we can also set up a guest network. Check that out, that's pretty cool with its own password why would we do this tyler well the reason we would do this is if we have guests or anybody else over stick them on that guest network give it less permissions and no access to your primary network now you're thinking safe so that's a few of the things there so password changes setting up a guest network looking at the firewalls everything you do in here will have a big change on your network for the most part i mean there's a lot of damage that can be done in here so if you don't know what you're doing if you're confused if you're on Spectrum and you have to do it from the application and you have no idea what's going on because you tried to slap your IP address into the browser and it wouldn't pull pull up, it just took you to some Spectrum QR code. If you're having trouble with any of this stuff, give us a call. My Computer Works. We'll be happy to help. This is what we do. We help people set up their uh, their security to be safe and and uh, the way they want it. Right. So there's a lot of configurations in there. A lot of stuff that we could go through. Uh, and and help you get it the way you want it and even check your net like your device list that's always fun i do that with people a lot of the time uh, people will call because they're worried that somebody's accessing their their network or on their network with them and so we can go through the device list and make sure you recognize everything and that it's all supposed to be there so lots of lots of different things we can do there and uh, again we can always enhance the security or lower it if you need to, if you're having issues or check for blocked IP addresses, whatever. You could block IP addresses if you know you don't want somebody on your network. Lots of different cool stuff you can do. So call us if you're having trouble with any of it, but definitely hop in there and check it out and don't click anything you don't know because uh, you definitely could do some damage. So it is a bit of a danger zone, but I wanted to tell everybody about this. And um, if you're having issues with it, you wanna, again, you wanna secure your network, give us a call. 
Thank you and have a good day.